All right, what's going on, everybody? Appreciate the love, appreciate the support. You guys already know what we're doing. Make sure you hit the like button, share button. So in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the hiring process, the background investigations, all that type of shit that takes place when it comes to um, getting into law enforcement. It's a lot. You're going into City Hall, you're going to a department, and you're speaking to a sergeant, and they're telling you, you gotta go get this, get this paper, go get copies of that, this and that. And if you've never been in law enforcement, if you don't have anybody that kind of you know, directed you or helped you out in the process. It's overwhelming, it's a lot. No reason Nick though, I got you. So to start off, first and foremost, get your paperwork together. All your basic paperwork, your driver's license, high school diploma, social security card. All those things, your birth certificate, all those things are going to be needed when you first apply. When you, and also depending on where you at, some departments may require you to go get your high school transcript and your college transcripts. Make sure you get that shit because it's gonna be a process. Calling the school, setting up an appointment, going there, yada, yada, all that shit. So make sure you got all that shit before you even apply. So after you got all that taken care of, you got all your, you know, you got your driver's license, your birth certificate, everything that I just stated. This is when things will get a little, a little complicated. And I feel like a lot of people they kind of get, you know, cold feet and they kind of, hey, you know, I don't, I don't want to go through with this type of shit because some departments, they're going to require you to provide your credit score. They're going to ask for um, your debt, the balances that you owe with certain companies with certain debt. And a lot of people see that shit and they don't want to go along with it because one, they don't want to provide that information or two. It's a process, it really is a process. If you're somebody who's not on top of your finances, not on top of your credit, everything like that, it's gonna take a while and it's gonna stress you out. You're gonna just be like, you know what? I don't feel like applying to that. So please make sure you're on top of that. Get everything taken care of, get, uh, get everything straightened out. When I applied to Atlantic City, all the departments I applied to, SEPTA, uh, DOC, every law enforcement department that I applied for, I had that, but I feel like and I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. You guys are gonna have to do your own research or whatever. But I don't believe credit or debt in itself is a factor of why you won't get a job. You know what I mean? Um, don't get me wrong, if it's something outstanding, like you have like outstanding debt and or child support, back taxes, things like that, that you're fucking with the government, you're fucking with, you know, then yeah, of course, you probably won't get hired. But if it's like credit cards and school debt, school loans and things like that, some departments, they understand that shit. So they, 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 they won't give you a real hard time about it, but you got to be able to provide it. When you apply, they're gonna ask for everything. They're gonna see everything. And along with the credit cards, they're gonna ask for has, have you ever had a vehicle repossessed? Have you ever been evicted? Have you ever? So all those types of questions, those personal financial questions, they are going to come up. One of the next things in the, the application process, the hiring process is you're gonna have to find your references. And that's with any job. Now you guys already know, you're gonna have to get three, four, five references, pro professional references, and they're gonna have to speak for you. The background investigator, they will call them. They will ask them questions whether they're co-workers, you went to school with them, you know, whatever the case may be, they will call your references and find out the type of person you are. So whoever you put on those papers, on that list, make sure they're solid. Don't be putting off just some fucking random ass name on there that they're not even going to know what the fuck is going on or they're going to say shit that's going to get you looked at crazy or whatever. Get people that you really trust. Go get, um, if you're in school, Couple of my pre my references I had a childhood friend. You no, know, never got in trouble. Was working, doing real good. Another reference I had was um, a professor of mine. You know, when I was in a community college, I had a professor. I asked her. I said, "Hey, you know, she was more than happy to." So those are the types of people that you're gonna have to depend on. And if you got solid people, it's not gonna be an issue. You know, there's really not much that I could really kind of give you guys and and reveal a lot of details because I was not a detective. I was not a background investigator. I, I never did that um, on that end. So I'm just telling you guys my my experience, my perspective, things that, you know, that I went through with this. Um, but the best piece of advice that I could give anybody if you're trying to get into law enforcement, trying to become a cop, 
and you feel unsure about something, whether it's your debt, your credit, your finances, your, you know, anything with your education, your transcripts, and call somebody, hey, my name is so-and-so, you know, I have an application for your department, I'm interested in becoming a police officer, but, you know, I just wanted to talk to somebody, blah, 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 that way I don't go to orientation and stand out like a dick on the fish because I don't have proper paperwork, documentation, whatever, whatever, and I don't want to go there and waste my time. Can you guys help me out? You gotta talk. You gotta talk to somebody, you gotta ask people questions, and the worst thing they're gonna tell you is, no, we're not gonna hire you. Ask them. If they tell you, like, yeah, we probably won't hire you because of this or because, keep it fucking moving. I guarantee you, somebody will hire you. It may take one time, two times, three times. It may take you fucking 15 departments before you finally get one that's gonna be like, you know what? Come on, I got you. I promise you. But if that's what you wanna do, stay focused, stay persistent, on, stay on top of your shit. Don't let, don't let anything slip up. Don't fuck up with your credit. Don't let other people, if you're in a relationship, tell your partner, look, don't fuck this shit up with me. I'm in the middle of a background investigation, so all this arguing shit, we don't need the neighbors coming here. We don't need the cops being called. Be smart about fuck what you're doing. No, be smart about what you're doing. Just be, just be honest. Just be upfront. Like I said, the worst thing they're going to tell you is, no, we're not going to hire you. You're not going to go to jail. Keep it moving. Quick story when it came to my background investigation. Um, I applied to SEPTA prior to me applying to Atlantic City. I told you guys when I talked about the lie detector test and everything like that. I wanted to work for SEPTA. I wanted to get the full-time position with SEPTA. I, wanted, I didn't care about the commute. Philly was where I was trying to be at. Um... Obviously, Atlantic City called me prior, or called me first. They said, hey, come to the academy. I said, okay, I'll be there. I went to Atlantic City. And um, so as I was in the process for Atlantic City, I remember I was getting calls. Well, the, I first had like a, it was kind of like an orientation type thing where you have your application and you show up and the background investigators, they take you in the room and they're, they're going to, they're just gonna skim through everything. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be the actual investigation, but they're just gonna look at through everything and just kind of just see if everything looks okay for the most part. They're gonna talk to you for a little bit, yada yada, whatever, whatever. So when I had applied for SEPTA, I had told them that I was smoking marijuana months before, you know, because and the only reason I even told them this shit was because I was I was gonna get a uh, polygraph test. And I didn't know how it was going to be. I was kind of like, oh, shit. Like, I don't want these motherfuckers saying that. So I just was open about everything. I, so for SEPTA, I said... Bro, what the fuck? What's going on, bro? This traffic out here in Broward is ridiculous out here. They're always doing some shit. So for SEPTA, I admitted to smoking marijuana. I said, you know, I smoke this amount at this time. Blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I kept going with Atlantic City. Once I started the hiring process for Atlantic City, we get the application, and they're gonna, all the applications are pretty much the same format. They're gonna ask you, what drugs have you done, what this and that. When I was with Atlantic City, when I was applying with Atlantic City, I wasn't even gonna tell them about smoking. I was not going, I was gonna keep it to myself. I was kinda like, they don't need to know that. Fuck it. I, when I went to the orientation with my packet, my packet said that I wasn't smoking. I went to the orientation. I sat down with the background investigator. She's looking at my stuff. And I said, hey, can I, can I admit to something real quick? She said, yeah, what's going on? I said, look, I know it says on my packet that I didn't smoke weed um, at this month, or but I actually smoked on this day and yada, yada. She was like, well, why'd you? And I was just kind of like, oh, no, I just forgot. I wasn't thinking about it, but I just want to be honest with you and be up front with you guys right now, yada, yada, whatever. She said, cool, I appreciate you being honest with me. But you know, if you do get hired, like you can't be out here smoking weed. <laughs> I said, yeah, I know that, I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know. And that was my whole thing. I think I kind of, I kind of psyched myself out a little bit and talked myself into thinking that SEPTA knows that I smoked weed because I admitted to smoking weed in my application. So they already have that information. When I applied to Atlantic City, I'm thinking the background investigator from both SEPTA and Atlantic City, they're going to be communicating. Because that, that's just how my mind was working at the time. I, I didn't know anything. So I was like, oh, shit. They're going to be like, oh, this guy's trying to work for Atlantic City. Let me go talk to this. And I thought that it was going to come up at some point 
that um, if Atlantic City called SEPTA asking about marijuana and then just, it was going to be two different stories. So I was just kind of like, look, I'm going to tell everybody, yeah, I smoke weed, I smoke weed, I don't give a fuck, whatever. Hire me, don't hire me, at least y'all know. And um, and that was I was scared about that. So after the orientation, after I spoke with the background investigate, investigator in the room, weeks went by, you know, the process, I was still in the, in the pool, I was still going and everything like that. Another background investigator from Atlantic City calls me. He says, yo, what's going on there, blue? And, um, you know, we're talking. He's like, yeah, I just want to ask you a question about um, you and smoking marijuana. And is it going to be a problem? And I said, no, it's not a problem. I don't even smoke now. That was just something in the past. He was like, well, how much were you smoking back then? I don't remember how much I said, but I remember his response. He was like, damn, that's a lot of weed, bro. And I said, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, uh, well, same thing that the other background investigator. He said, well, you know, if we do continue on and hire you, you know you can't be out here smoking. Whether you're on duty, off duty, class two, full time, you can't be smoking. I said, yeah, I know. I know. Like I said, I, this was just something in the past, but I wanted to be open with you guys and be up front because like, I really want this job. I really want to become a cop. And they were like, yo, thank you. We appreciate you, yada, yada, whatever. Weeks went by, they called me, I got sworn in, I got hired. So when it comes to criminal background, criminal history, I'm not going to say that you're automatically going to get disqualified if you do have charges or you have been arrested in the past, but it's going to, it's going to be a little barrier. You know, you're going to, there's going to be some obstacles and hurdles you're going to have to get over. So before that, before you even apply, go whatever, go to city hall, go to your local department, go get copies of all your paperwork, all your charges, probation, Whatever, it doesn't matter if it was juvenile, if it was as an adult, go get it because they're gonna find out. If you are selected in the hiring process and you, you turn in all your information, your application, they're gonna find out. They're gonna find out your traffic violation. They're gonna find out all your bullshit. So you just get ahead of the game with it. Go get your paperwork, get that shit straightened out. Um, if you're unsure about anything, call a department, call a detective, explain to them, hey, just picked up an application. I wanna, I wanna become a police officer for your department. I do have this in my background. I haven't been in trouble in this many years. Is this gonna give me a hard time? If not, what's the process? What am I gonna do next? You know, you gotta open up, you gotta open your mouth, you gotta speak. <laughs> People ain't gonna know what the fuck you want if you don't speak. Close mouth, don't get fed. So call somebody, ask a question. Um, if one department won't hire you, like I've said before, somebody will, promise you. Somebody's gonna hire you. Um, <clears throat> State Trooper is going to be a, a lot different. I've heard stories and of the process of state troopers who actually like are working. And you better hope you never got into detention in your life if you're going to try to become a state trooper. You better hope your motherfucking record since you were born that you never jaywalked, you never got in trouble for nothing because state trooper is very, very difficult to get into. New Jersey state trooper, very difficult. Very thorough investigation, like thorough but if you're just going to your small local department and if you know somebody it may help if you know a sergeant if you know a detective if your partner is related to somebody in the you know if you got connections use your fucking connections let somebody help you get in there you know when you get that opportunity you just can't fuck it up they ask you, yo, so what happened? Like, what, what's going on with the situation? What happened? Explain to them. Tell them. But make sure you're on point. That's going to be it, man. Don't let that shit discourage you. Apply. Do what you got to do. If you don't want to apply, if you don't want to turn in all your information, whatever, fuck it. Don't go that way. Either. It's whatever. It's and feel free to hit me up. DM. Drop a question. Drop a uh, whatever. A comment. At MRR9123. I know what it's like, man. It's, I'm more than happy to help. I know shit can kind of be a little confusing or over, overwhelming, like I said. And not even with just law enforcement. Don't get these, don't get this channel, this page. It's not just about law enforcement. If I can help anybody with anything. No reason, Nick, baby. I'm going to catch you on the next one, though. Peace.